guys. This is one of my helpers, Annabelle. And we are the homestead. We are part of the homestead. If you've never seen us before, I'm Emma. This is Amy, and that's my sister Addie, and that's my us sister um, Ava. And my dad, Drew, is um, outside of me. <laughs> there you have it, folks. That is, that is our family. It's Annabelle and Amy and Addie and Ava and Andrew. <laughs> and I am going to show you how to use to donate seeds. <laughs> to Germany seeds? Yeah. There's Miss Addie. Oh, can you pick up the seeds? That was really cold outside. It's about 32 degrees and maybe even 30, but it's just, we get real, a lot of wind here and when the wind blows, it just goes right to your bone. So I had to come in here and pour my cup of coffee. This video is going to be over the course of several days and I'll take you through each of the different steps of getting your loofah seeds started. I've got my helper here. Come here, Mushy. Say hi. Hi. Are you gonna be my helper today? Yeah. Yeah, you're gonna help me plant the seeds in the water? Yeah. Yep, okay. I've got three different kinds of loofah seeds that I wanna grow. The first is just a regular loofah sponge seed that's got a Thai extra long seed. And then last year, I saved some of the seeds from our best loofah that grew. Um, on our property. I have never saved seeds before, so I don't know if I did this right. I've never researched seed saving. We're gonna plant these two and just see what happens. So basically you're gonna take your little seed here and one side is gonna be pointy, and one side is round. I'm sure there's technical terms here for these ends. I do not know the technical terms. So um, you wanna go away from the pointy end and you're gonna just take nail clippers and all we're gonna do is just snip off a very small, there we go. See how I snipped that end? So I'm gonna do this for several of the seeds and then my little helper here, Miss Addison, yeah. is going to put them in cups of water. Now we have um, I just took three jelly jars and put some lukewarm water in it. These soak for about 18 to 24 hours. So I'll check them again tomorrow morning and we'll go into the next step. I know lupus seeds, they need moisture and warmth and they have a really, really long growing season. So, um, and with this hard shell, I think just trimming it allows some of that warmth and moisture to get into the seed to activate it. This seed is different. So this one is like white. You see that? I'm guessing that means it's not a viable seed. I don't know. We're just not gonna do that one. Now here's a seed that is black like the store-bought seeds, but it is indented and kind of wrinkled. The camera doesn't really do it justice. Um, I think that this is also not a very viable seed. So we're just gonna set that one aside. 
Yeah. But some of these others, surprisingly enough, look like the seeds that are in the seed packet. So I'm very excited to see what they do in terms of germination. Okay, there you have it. We have our three jars of lupa seeds. And I'm gonna go ahead and take these over to our grow station so they can get some warmth, um, put them on the heating mat, and we'll check back in tomorrow. We're back 24 hours later, guys. We are ready to take our lupa seeds that have been sitting in water soaking for the last 24 hours, and we're gonna put them in some wet paper towels. We've got our seeds in water. I've got some baggies. Each one is labeled for the three different types of seeds that I'm germinating. And I've got some wet paper towels. Let's do it. I am going to start with our Thai Extra Longs. I'm going to take my wet paper towel and lay it down. And I'm just going to pull each of the seeds out of my jar and I'm going to place them on the wet paper towel. And then I'm going to roll it up and stick it in the baggie that I have labeled for that variety. So here we go. You can see I've got our five seeds laid out. going to store it loosely inside the bag. I'm not really going to seal it, seal it partially. Um, and there it goes, our Thai seeds. And we're going to go ahead and sit these over on the heating mat and let them warm up for the next day or two. Okay, we've got our lupa seeds here in the baggies. We're gonna open them up and check them and see if they have started sprouting. I've already got a few two and a half inch pots here filled with a Spoma organic seed starting mix that has been pre-moistened with water and then filled in the cups. Um, when you pre-moisten your seed starting mix before you put your seeds in, it just goes a whole lot smoother when you go to water it the first time. Just a tip. But let's go ahead and see what's going on with our lufa seeds. This is the Thai lufa seed. And none of those have sprouted. The Thai lufa seed has not started sprouting yet. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that back in the paper towel. I'm gonna add a little bit of moisture there and I'm gonna put it back on the heating mat for just a couple more days. Sometimes lupa seeds take up to two weeks to germinate. So um, we'll add some more moisture, get it back on the heating pad, and hopefully in a couple days we'll have a seed there. Let's check our regular Baker Creek lupa seeds. 
Okay. Now we've got a couple sprouts here that are ready to go. I'm gonna take the sprouted seed and I'm gonna go ahead and plant it in the pot. And I'm gonna make sure that this root that's growing is down towards the soil. I know that seems like it's pretty obvious, but for beginners, sometimes it's not. Sometimes the obvious stuff is a little tricky. Now here, I'm gonna check the paper towel that has the loofah seeds from the plant that we grew last year. Let's see how it's doing. There we go. Wow, look at all those seeds that have sprouted. That's pretty exciting considering this was our first year saving any seeds. We'd never done it before and this is our best turnout yet in terms of seed sprouting. So we're gonna go ahead. Well yeah, we've never done it before. <laughs> Very true. I mean the best turnout amongst the three different types that we have. Oh. We're, we're gonna plant this root side down into the dirt here you can see it's starting to get its first leaves out. Um, so we're gonna do our best to get that into the soil and make sure the entire seed is covered. Just like that. And then we're gonna pat a little bit of the dirt on top and we'll make sure to get that over on the heating mat. All right, we've got our loofahs potted up and I'm gonna go ahead and get them over to our Seed Central, get them on a heating mat, get some water in this tray so that the loofah plants can start sucking it up and drinking it up and grow nice and strong for us. I'll be sure to give you updates over the next few weeks to show you how our loofah plants are doing before we get them in the ground. Thank you so much for coming along this journey with me as we prepared and planted our loofah seeds for the year. I hope you've learned a lot. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below um, and I will definitely respond. If you want to try this on your own and you have some successes, I would love to see your successes, a picture or a comment later on um, this summer as you start to see your own loofah grow. I appreciate you and thank you so much for coming by the Timmy Family Farm. Until next time, good night. Bye, have a good day, be amazing.